about terror uh, before the foreign secretaries meet is that one possible option let's not forget that uh, when the uh, UFA meeting had taken place there was a decision to uh, put together a mechanism where national security advisors would meet and speak uh, specifically on the issue of terrorism well joining us uh, to talk about what all this means uh, right now we have in the studio with us from the BJP, Seshadri Chari. We also have uh, in the studio Lieutenant General Saeed Atta Hasnain, who uh, was a, a General Officer Commanding of the 15th Corps. Uh, we have with us from the Congress Abhishek Manu Singhvi from his residence. Uh, Vivek Kachu, a former uh, Secretary in the External Affairs Ministry, uh, with us from his residence. And from Karachi, we have Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao uh, joining us uh, from uh, location studios in Karachi. Uh, I want to actually ask. Abhishek Manu Singhvi first, uh, Kapil Sibyl has come out and said instead of saying that the ball is in Pakistan's court, uh, it is time that uh, the ball should be in India's own court. Can you just explain to us what that statement means? What is it the Congress wants the Indian government to do right now? No, no, I am not here to start explaining statements. You have to ask the person who made it. I am here to say that the Congress stand is consistent. You can seek a clarification on the exact words used by anyone, but all I am saying is the Congress stand is number one, engagement must be there. Barring something exceptionally disastrous and bizarre, engagements must continue. Second, uh, the engagement forms, calibration, degree, methodologies can of course change, sometimes higher, sometimes lower, on the need of the moment. But number three, we totally disagree with the manner and form in which there has been a zigzag of the engagement process itself from May 2014, complete zigzag, complete volta faces. Uh, there must be that consistency and coherence in the engagement. Number four, as of to the, today, as of the current context, I think it is prana fascia, it appears to be correct to say that you must show us actionable intelligence, yeah. uh, actionable uh, uh, deliverables on what has happened before we engage fully. Uh, I think that's fair, although I'm saying it cautiously because I don't know the full details of what the government is going to do next. Hmm. But we must then insist on time frames. And last but not the least, I've always been saying for the last few days, we must continue despite this yeah. to heap international opprobrium and embarrassment at least upon a section okay. of Pakistan. All right, so I'm Shad prepared at the moment to give the benefit of doubt to Dawah Sharif but not to anybody else. Okay, so and Shadi that Chari... must lead to international problem and embarrassment. Right. Abhishek Manu Singhvi is saying that, you know, nobody knows what the government is going to do next, certainly not the Congress, but the question is, does the government know what it's going to do next? Because Vikas Varoop has uh, drawn some very hard red lines today, uh, not even, uh, you know, three weeks after Prime Minister Modi went to Lahore and we saw the bonhomie that was uh, a result of that meeting. You know, you're, it seems to be that you, you take two steps forward, you get to a position, and then you're forced to roll back the very position that you have, have taken. No, that has always been the situation <coughs> as far as India-Pakistan relations have been concerned. It has always been three steps forward, two steps backward, because the political establishment wants to establish peace and engagement, and then go on a number of other issues. <coughs> there are sections within the Pakistani... Uh, political establishment and a larger sections within the Pakistani army which has a different agenda. Therefore, these talks, uh, I, I, I fully agree with the first two points that uh, Mr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi said. Engagements must continue yeah. and the met methodologies must change. Hmm. When the Prime Minister went to Lahore, the situation was different. Hmm. One week after that, the situation is different. Number one, A. B. Hmm. When the foreign secretary level talks were decided the foreign secretary level talks were supposed to be f on a number of subjects including certain confidence building measures yeah. within the broader framework of comprehensive dialogue so when you are going to set an agenda on the broader frameworks of comprehensive agenda the foreign secretary level talks were not supposed to be included on terror right whereas the nsa level talks which were held once in bangkok Hmm. And the second NSA level talks which have been decided were specifically on the issue of terror. Hmm. And now 
after the Pathan Court incident and after the Kabul incident, okay. it's very clear that the servants may have been different, but the masters are the okay. same. Okay, well, let's get in uh, our view from Pakistan as well. We have M.I. Marshal Abid Rao joining us from Karachi. Sir, um, the Congress has said that talks must continue and they give Nawaz Sharif the benefit of the doubt. The BJP also agrees on the fact that the talks must continue. The methodology uh, really does need to change as well. But you, you've seen some very, very tough talking from uh, the External Affairs Minister in Delhi today. There's also been a, a declaration of intent from Pakistan to uh, sort of act on the intelligence that India has provided. But we're looking at timelines right now. The Foreign Secretary talks are meant to take place on the 15th of January. It, you know, when, when India says the ball is in Pakistan's court, is there likely to be some kind of response before uh, these Foreign Secretary talks take place in your assessment? Uh, thank you, Maya. Uh, let me start with uh, one verse from my own book, which says, Sazae sab hai kubool ek shart par mujko. Gawahon ke liye sach bolna zaruri hai. Actually, that is what has been missing from Indo-Pak relationship, the lack of trust between our two countries. And uh, unfortunately, uh, this incident has <laughs> taken us back. Uh, I would have much liked myself that the Indian government should have continued the talks at the sectors level and this be pursued in parallel. Uh, because now we have actually given a partial <coughs> acknowledgement to the mandate of the terrorists, you know, whom we also do not approve, do not acknowledge uh, to be doing something uh, uh, harmful to India. You see, uh, the sectors level talks should not be derailed, should not be delayed. And NSA advisors should meet and sort out the whole thing. In, future, uh, in the past few incidents, we have been a victim of, uh, you know, not satisfying each other with the response, with the quality of evidence, and with the procedure. In UFA, the, both, uh, the two prime ministers had agreed that there will be a mechanism, which means reliable sharing of uh, evidence, intelligence, and uh, the a procedure to follow what happens. And believe me, all, all government and other departments are keen that it should be nailed down to the last uh, detail. Yeah. So that, you know, these things don't happen. When Prime Minister Modi came here on 25th December, it was feared that some such incident yeah. may put us back, you know, so many steps. Uh, as they say that the strength of a chain lies in the weakest link. Yeah. Our relations, are they, you know, uh, uh, sabotageable or they are hostages to such uh, incidents? This is exactly what these terrorists want. Yeah. Okay. Pakistan is determined now to eliminate them. So, so be sure if the evidence is correct, it will be done. Okay, General Hasnain, you know, we... Whenever we speak to uh, our guests from across the border on debates like this, there seems to be a consensus that, look, everyone does need to talk and Pakistan is committed to tackling terrorism. You see these, these uh, positions taken every time there is a terror attack. Now, if, if India has taken a decision that they want to go ahead with the dialogue process, as seems to be the case with this current government, then... What happened in Pathan Court, what happened in mazar -e sharif is something that's going to have to be taken, uh, uh, not to sound uh, sort of flip, flippant about it, but taken in stride because you have to then continue the dialogue process irrespective. We're again back to the same stage we were in over, you know, whether they'll meet the Hurriyat and should we talk and things like that. Well, it is easier said than done. What you're saying is absolutely right. I mean, ideally, that's the process which should be followed. Yeah. I remember on this very show, uh, some time ago, uh, there was a lot of talk of the flip-flop of the Indian government yeah. on this policy. Hmm. And I said, no, don't call it flip-flop. It is a better terminology for it. It's fits and starts. Okay. Right? Fits and starts fits into this policy. Absolutely. And particularly after this incident. You see, the government really can't be faulted on any decision at this stage. What they're doing is they're playing for time. Because everything is not very clear after Pathan Court. Evidence is still being gathered. The linkages between what happened in mazar -e sharif and what happened in Pathan Court are still being established. So things are just being put on hold. No one has said that these talks are being cancelled. Hmm. And I have always believed and I've always been saying it, that the most important thing after the visit of our Prime Minister to Lahore would have been an early meeting of the NSAs to secure the flanks of this peace process, which meant that they should have sat, sat together and looked at okay. the contingencies.
that every that time there is a arrive. tendency, yeah. how do the two countries respond together? Okay. Okay, I want Vivek Karchu to come in on that because, you know, uh, this, this is a very important point. Instead of talk, you know, bringing, in, uh, bringing on board immediately the mechanism to tackle terror, which is the NSA's forum, they decided to go ahead and talk about foreign secretaries meeting. General Hasnain is making the point, as is uh, Abid Rao making the point uh, from Karachi, that, you know, if you've decided to continue talking, then continue talking. You expect that there's going to be incidents that will derail the process. Uh, Maya, let us look at history because history offers us a guide here. The Pakistani establishment decided to use terror as a part of its security doctrine against India. The question before us is if it is willing to abandon that. Because if it is not willing to abandon that and change its approach to India, then whether you have NSA level talks or you don't, to my mind, they will be meaningless. Bec at the moment, the jury is out on this. Hmm. Now, the very fact that Pakistan permits non-state actors, quote unquote non-state actors, to operate from its territory in, against India indicates that there has not been a decision in uh, Rawalpindi on this issue. The chances are, and that is my guess, that they will not decide on that. Okay. Uh, they want to uh, use terror, keep it at least, just let me complete, yeah, yeah. keep it in reserve. They may calibrate it, but they will not give it up. I want as long to come as in that, on that happens, yeah. No, no, one point here. Yeah. As long as that happens, the dilemma of each government in India will continue. What do you do when a state, a responsible state with nuclear weapons, continues to embark on the use of terror? Okay. Therefore, to say that engagement should continue, engagement for what For what purpose? purpose? All right, we'll, Are we'll they bring that to question. Give it up? We'll bring now, that, that question back to the Congress and the BJP, Mr. Karchu. But Kartu, let us but the limits of yeah, engagement. Yeah, we'll bring that question back to the BJP and the Congress in just a second. But first, I want Abid Rao to come in on what you were saying. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao, Vivek Karchu is essentially saying that Pindi is not on board right now with any dialogue or any talks with Pakistan, uh, with India and Pakistan. And therefore, uh, this sort of low-grade attrition or a, a high-value high target is going to continue the attacks on these things are going to continue. So, you know, what's the point really? Okay, uh, let me uh, put it this way, that what do you think is the objective of uh, these so-called Jaish Mohammed or uh, Hurriyat or so many other agencies but that, you know, Abhijra, we don't need the, the Lashkars anymore. I think the question is, you, you know, know that the objective is to, no, is to the, derail the, the talks. One knows that their objective army. is to derail the talks. What is the Pakistani, if the Pakistani establishment and authorities know that groups like jaish e mohammed and lashkar e taiba are hell bent on making sure india and pakistan don't come to peaceful dialogue why is islamabad not able to rein them in pakistan has already started this war against all such organizations they are going from south to north hmm. and they, they, these people are on the list of pakistan army in zarbe az it's right. only a matter of time so un until that arrives you know you will keep raising this question and it will be valid Right. Unless you are satisfied, you know, uh, that, you know, Pakistan is tackling this. Because this is no more the strategy of the... If you had asked me two years ago, maybe I would have agreed with you that this uh, non-state actors are relatively free to operate in Pakistan. It is not the case anymore. Things mm. are happening. It is slow because of the probably capacity of the uh, Pakistan army to tackle everything at one time. Okay. You may be monitoring what all they are doing uh, in uh, Sindh and now uh, portion of Punjab. And, of course, Waziristan, uh, they're more actively okay. involved. So, therefore, you know, we need to build that confidence between the two states. There's a political government in India. There's a political government in Pakistan. Both want friendship. And when such incidents take place and when we, uh, you know, uh, roll back, I think there is a partial success that these terrorist organizations take. Okay, and, all right. Uh, all, all, also, uh, I, I want to add one thing, Maya. Yeah. You see, in last six days, what, uh, the way we have seen the India media handling this Pathan court attack, there have been fo some very, very bad lapses. The talk between the terrorist and his mother, it is so fake and artificial that nobody will believe it. Close your eyes, listen to it, 
and try to see if that can ever be real. Okay. Then the police chief's uh, vehicle being snatched, nothing happening. His phone being snatched, nothing happening. Six people held All right. uh, there for six days. No those damage to your aircraft, those, no damage to your infrastructure. Those, I mean, questions, what are being asked, is your question. <laughs> those questions are being asked internally. All right, General Hassan, you want to come in on, on I, Abu Jal's I, I, comments? I here. just want to request uh, the good Air Marshal to just tell us where have these specific operations been going on against the Jaisha Mohammed and the Lashkar Taiba? I have been monitoring uh, Zarbe Az since the last uh, two years. And uh, I don't seem to be finding any evidence anywhere of any of the India-focused groups, that the Punjab-based groups, ever being targeted. So I wonder where this Sir, evidence is coming out and where this information. Okay. Just one second. Besides that, your, uh, well, what you're talking second. about okay. this entire yeah. operation in Pathankot, you are a military man, sir. And I'm sure you realize that in such contingencies, there, is, there are zones of grey which exist everywhere. Hmm. These stories will take yeah, a couple uh, of months to evolve. And only then we'll find okay. something coming All out. All right. Abhid Rao, yeah, 10 seconds answer. to respond yeah. very quickly. I want to bring uh, the BJP and yes. the Congress into I'll, this. I'll yeah. quickly. Sir, sir Maya, you are Maya. absolutely right. So far, no such action uh, academically is visible. But their movements have been restricted. Their funds are being monitored. Okay. And they are being denied the uh, coverage on the media. You see the latest uh, Maya. camera rules. Yeah. Rules All right. Mrs. Singhvi. Maya. Yes, Mrs. Singhvi. I'm coming. I'm coming right to you, Mrs. Singhvi. Uh, Vivek Karchu was making the point that, you know, both the Congress and the BJP are talking about the need for engagement, the need for engagement, this utopian ideal that India and Pakistan need to keep engaging. Well, then, if you need to keep engaging both political parties, all political parties uh, in power and in the opposition need to then say that they will continue talking for the sake of talking because there's going to be nothing achieved from this as long as these positions don't change. There's no, there's no attempt, no movement towards any compromise. On either Maya, side. Maya, I'll answer that immediately. Yeah. Maya, I'll answer that immediately. Uh, but before that, two points about Pakistan. I certainly don't believe in programs which we see where you have Pakistanis and Indians squabbling and fighting and doing Pakistan bashing on Indian television channels. <coughs> but I'm constrained to make two points. Yeah. Kwe Pakistan before I answer the question you've asked. Yeah. Point number one is that uh, whatever suggestion there is by innuendo or insinuation or otherwise by implication that this was a either a fake incident or a incident which has nothing to do with Pakistan actors. Mm -hmm. uh, I find it incredible if anybody suggests that. The very same reasons which we call security failures or doubts which we have ourselves criticized in our country certainly don't suggest that this is either a fake collusive incident dressed up by India yeah. or that it has no Pakistani connection. Hmm. So I think that should be out of the way for every Pakistani commentator to suggest even remotely. Okay. <coughs> Secondly, uh, yeah. uh, I don't think anybody in the world, forget India, has the slightest doubt that it would take Pakistan less than one day to round up in a jail the principal actors exporting terrorism, assuming them to be non-state actors, I'm not at the moment conceding that at all. Huh. I, I think they get a lot of state oxygen and support. But it would take less than one day in any country. Can you imagine a person like the Jaish or the Lashkar head I'll, I'll, roaming around in, in its counterpart form in India? and not being arrested and put in jail by any Indian court. Okay, so all, right. Again, all right, Pakistan all right, Mrs. Zinghi, we need to go back. Just just a second. All right, we'll go back to Abhid Rao in just a second. I will answer Mr. this question. Mr. Rao, one moment. Realities. I want to get Kishanji Chari in on this as well. Abhishek Manu Singhvi and Abid Rao, just a moment, gentlemen. Let me get Kishanji Chari in on this very quickly before I go back to Pakistan. Yeah, go ahead. I haven't answered your question. Just give me half a second, 30 seconds more. Let me answer 30 seconds more. Uh, 15 what seconds is the alternative to engagement I'd like to ask? After 26-11, which is the biggest incident, or after parliament attack, which is the only bigger incident than 26-11 perhaps? Yeah. What can you do? You cannot sulk in your corner. Okay. You All have right. to so you have no choice but to engage. Engagement. Okay. No, 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 I must to answer that. All right. All right. Mr. Chari. Okay, okay gentlemen. Maya, I must answer that. But you still have to engage. Okay. Sometime still have later to engage. or sometime earlier. You have All to engage. All right. Abhishek Manu, no, no, we talk about Sishadri Chari. Vivek Arjun, just a moment. Sishadri Chari, come here. There are very few occasions when the Congress spokesperson snatches words out of my mouth. So this is one. Hmm. I am entirely in agreement with what uh, Mr. Abhishek Manu has said. But Mr. Chari, said. fundamentally but, but, what Vivek Karchu is you know, saying what, is what, what is the point of dialogue? Correct, what correct, end correct. is this dialogue taking I'll, place? I will start with what uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi said the last. Mr. 
you know, I, 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 as far as diplomatic engagement with Pakistan is concerned, uh, Ambassador Kadju was part of that engagement. He hmm. was, he knows more about Pakistan, and I have learned from him a number of things. Hmm. Therefore, to say that what is the use of this engagement <coughs> is taking the clock back. You I cannot disengage the wheel. Okay. What is important is the fact that the engagement engagement must go on. Yeah. In the larger interest of peace between the two okay. countries. Okay. All right. But at the same time, May I if clarify there are, yes, if the there are impediments, and yeah. we know no, no, every let, government knows let. that there are going to be impediments, the question is, okay. how do we overcome these impediments? All right. And how do you how so, how, do you, on, yeah. we'll how do you neutralize? Seven years on, how do you neutralize? How do you neutralize? Okay. We cut to and one more last point. Last point is, yeah. you know, what we expect from Pakistan is not an immediate answer to all the queries that we have raised. So we're not but expecting an, immediate at answers at least, and results, an but admission. some admission. intent and admission. and admission. Okay. Vivek Achyu, 30 seconds, and Abhidra, 30 seconds. We're losing his, uh, his uh, studio time as well. So Vivek Achyu, very quickly. Maya, the two countries are always engaged. Hmm. As long as there are diplomatic missions, the two countries are engaged and they are engaged on a large number of humanitarian issues at all times. Hmm. When the word engaged is used, it has become a code word for the resumption of the full dialogue process. Hmm. Now, if there is an engagement on terror, I support it. I support this, this uh, mechanism. Okay. But what I am saying is that engagement, full scope engagement, which is building cooperative ties, resolution of issues and humanitarian thing, the, I see the futility of it as, as long, long as, as, as the Pakistani terrorism. army maintains its mindset okay. because it can never okay. go ahead All right. purposefully. Rao, okay. That Ab is the submission I am making. Okay. Abid Rao, come in on this. You want to come in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Look, uh, uh, let me uh, just respond to Mr. Abhishek. You see, we have a history of these fake encounters and fake uh, allegations. 1971, February, India hijacked one of their own aircraft of Air India, Fokker, flown to Lahore in February. Mr. Rao, I think the question, if I may interrupt, because we're running out of time on your signal, no, the, the question on security lapses no, no. in India is a question India is security asking within itself. See, but I, I think you need, uh, you, if this, you could address the larger last, question. In last 12 months also, the story of the boat, you know, in the ocean, then blowing it up, the pigeons and then, you know, Udham Singh incident. I mean, I don't know why uh, India has to stoop so low to do these kind of things. These allegations, nobody in the world will support you on this. So, uh, let's not talk of that. Let's get ahead. Let's trust each other now onwards. Let's uh, give well, enough think, credible so evidence to each other. I think. I, I, think no, 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 I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. A very okay. sober person like uh, Admiral <laughs> Abhidrao.